You could just eat this right here, just like this. Next <laughs> What's really good? You know what time it is. It's your boy, Kevin the Vec, Taurus Fit. No bull just bought, baby. I told y'all. Summer sizzle is finally here. Gather round, gather round. <laughs> the smell is in town. Your boy about to hook it up. Summer sizzle is going down. We're in the kitchen, man. This is Summer Sizzle Breakfast Edition. How you like that, man? Good morning, man. Top of the morning to you. All right. We want to kick this week off with a brand new edition of Summer Sizzle. Nothing changing. We just going to give you a different take on Summer Sizzle. And how we going to do it? We're going to give you breakfast this morning. Breakfast. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Why breakfast? Because... A lot of you out there watching me right now, you didn't eat shit this morning. And that's why you ain't making them gains. That's why you feel like beating the head out the kids today. That's why you crabby at work. That's why by lunchtime you sleepy. That's why you can't get motivated. Huh? That's why you can't do what you're supposed to, cuz you're not eating breakfast. So, have no fear. Kevin Kev is here. Breakfast edition, summer sizzle. Here we go, baby. What you gonna need? What we're making for you today is grilled, stuffed apples. All right, you're gonna need some instant oatmeal. You don't have to have flavored. You can if you want to. I want flavor because I want the, uh, actually I want the cinnamon and spice. Uh, you can use the maple and brown sugar. Obviously, this is low sugar, maple and brown sugar. Or you can use the apples and cinnamon. You're also going to need brown sugar. We use Splenda. We use Splenda on everything. Uh, you're also going to need four apples. You can use any kind, not any kind. You can, you can use, actually, you can use any kind of apple you basically want. Uh, but we got red delicious apples and we got the uh, gold, we got gold, what do you call these? Or gold? Gold delicious. Gold delicious apples. Get you a pack of walnuts. Or vanilla extract. You can use almond extract or whatever, but for this recipe, you're gonna use vanilla. You're also gonna use ground cloves. Oh yeah! Y'all out there that know how to cook know this already smell like apple pie, baby. Nutmeg! Ground cinnamon. You are also going to need bananas. Okay, okay. so that what you're gonna need, man. It's going down. Alright? Grilled, stuffed. Apples with scrambled eggs for breakfast. Stay tuned, man. Shit is about to get ridiculous. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, what's first thing you want to do is get your uh, water on the stove. All right, you want that to start boiling. But before then, you're going to have to prep your apples. All right. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to cut the top off the apple and you're going to cut the bottom off the apple. All right. But basically, what you want to do is you want to slice it off, take you a spoon. And just core out the middle of the apple. All right, get all the seeds and all the cores out. All right, throw those away and preserve this. Uh, next thing you do, you got your water on the stove. You want to get your oatmeal in there. All right, make sure you get a spoon or a spatula or something to stir. All right, drop your oatmeal in, stirring constantly. All right, start to cook your oatmeal. Then next thing you want to do is you want to drop your bananas in. Drop your walnuts in. Does it smell good or what? It's gonna smell better when you put them spices in. <laughs> Next thing you wanna do is drop your cinnamon and brown sugar and there's vanilla extract we already put in there. All right, put that in there. Stirring constantly because you don't want it to burn. Now it smells like Now it smells like, like heaven. Smells like apple pie. 
Next thing you're gonna do is turn your stove off. Bring this over and we're gonna stuff the apples. Anyway, it's time to stuff your uh, apples, all right? So just get your uh, filling. Let it cool down so you don't burn yourself. What? You said that looks awesome? <laughs> it smells even better. Thank you very much. Get that on there. Man, it smells like... <laughs> Almost got it all. All right. Anyway, so now you got your egg stuff. All right. We're going to take these out. Your eggs. Now that you got your apple stuff, we're going to take these outside and uh, get these on the grill. So y'all stay tuned. All right, squad, so we finally outside. Uh, it's early in the morning, so you don't hear none of my neighbors and the kids out here playing, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, man, what you want to do is, as you can see, we got heat. Now, my, my thermometer is already up to 450 degrees. You do not want to put these apples on direct heat. You want to put this on indirect heat, all right? So not on top of the flame, all right? And this is going to be for 20 to 25 minutes. Matter of fact, we're going to move these up. All right, and we're gonna close this grill, and this is gonna be a 20 to 25 minute cook. All right, all right, squad. Uh, we got the apples out on the stove, and that's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, anyway, we're gonna make this uh, this breakfast drink. All right, that's gonna go with this, and this is a uh, this is our fruit uh, fruit fission uh, smoothie. All right, what you're gonna need? Canada Dry or whatever kind of seltzer water you want. All right, guys, we got the apples out on the uh, on the grill. Uh, it's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, uh, depending on how much heat you have, that's pretty good. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a fruit infused smoothie. All right, you're gonna need Canada. We got Canada Dry lemon lime. Uh, it's like a carbonated uh, water, seltzer water. Okay. We also have watermelon. We have strawberry. Bananas and we also have kiwi anyway, man get your fruit. All right put it inside of your blender You're not obviously you may not have to use all of this Depends on how much you like we like it. We all. love strawberries And this drink will last us for two days and we're gonna throw the watermelon in or the uh, bananas in there. Sorry All right And because it's me and TT we're gonna use I think we're using two cups of water here and here's your uh, cup markings down here on the side, all the way up to nine cups. We don't need that much. Get the lid on. Lock it down. The good part about this uh, this blender is if you don't have it all the way down, it won't it won't do anything. I found that out the hard way. Got to lock it down. Pulse. That's pretty loose. Yummy. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so stay tuned for the final product, guys. All right, squad. So it's been about 20 minutes, man. Uh, I did move. Uh, if you notice, you got to you do indirect heat, and if you start to lose too much heat, whatever you know, you got to manipulate, play around a little bit. So we did move the uh, move the apples. All right, so here they go, and they are juicing, all right? So we'll just go ahead and take these off. As you can see, they are juicing. Mm. They are nice and soft and moist, and they smell like heaven. All right, there it is, man. So we're gonna take these in the house, plate it up, so stay tuned, man. The final product, your grilled stuffed apples with oatmeal and spice and everything nice. <laughs> Stay tuned, man. Oh, breakfast. What up, man? 
This is it. It's your boy, man. Kevin the Vac, Taurus Fit. No bull, just bulk. This is the grand finale. Here we have it, man. Final product is right here. As you can see, look how soft that is. We have grilled, stuffed apples with oatmeal and spice and a healthy side of scrambled eggs with a watermelon, kiwi, banana, strawberry <laughs> infused smoothie. Here we go, man. Let's get it on. You really ain't gonna need a knife for this, but you can see how soft that is. All right. We'll just slice a little piece off. As you can see the stuffing on the inside. All right, all that cinnamon, all of that spice. Nice warm apple. <laughs> I ain't gonna get indignant. Cause it's church this morning. Lord help me. Don't don't do it. Listen. That is so good that I'm actually shocked. Because when food gets really, really good and it gets you in that state of mind where you just can't even believe that you have cooked something this delicious, this succulent. And I had some on my finger. Hey man, this is the first time for me to do food for thought. Breakfast edition. And I must say, Here we go, man. Nice creamy. Look at that. Look how creamy and soft that is, man. Mmm. Wow. Those are, those are off the hook good. Hey, appreciate y'all. We running late. We got to go to church this morning. Get some Jesus. Can't be late. I appreciate y'all checking in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for showing all the love and support. Uh... We can't do this without y'all, man. Real talk, man. So thank y'all, man. Share the videos. If you happen to make this recipe, add walnut, add something to the top of it. You can do whatever. You add granola, whatever. Put it in the description box if you do. If you can make this better, by all means. Do so. This is what we do, man. We do what we love, and we love what we do. Thank y'all, man. Get your fruit on. Get your smooth fruit smoothie. I ain't even... It gets no better than this, man. Thank y'all, man. It's your boy, Kevin the Vec, Taurus Fit. No bull, just buck, baby. Summer Sizzle Breakfast Edition. Shit was off the hook. <laughs>